with my offset command I can create exact copies of objects, arcs, or circles that will be parallel and at a designated distance from the original entity. I can start the offset command by picking it from the tool panel, uh, typing in its name on the keyboard, or using its keyboard alias O and enter. The first thing it asks for is, is the offset distance. So in this case I'm going to enter 0.5 and now it wants me to select the first object to offset. So if I select this line, for example, it now wants me to specify the, uh, a point on the side that I would like the line to be offset to. So if I click on this side of the line, you notice that it creates an exact copy of that line at a distance of 0.5 on the side that I clicked. My offset command doesn't end. And so I can continue first clicking on an object and then clicking on the side that I would like that offset. To end the command I can hit enter or right click the mouse. When I bring back my offset command you'll notice that in the command line the default offset distance is 0.5. If I hit enter right now I can continue to offset objects at 0.5. If I wanted to change that offset distance when I bring back offset I would need to enter another amount. So here I've entered one and now I can offset these objects at uh, one inch offsets. Another option that I have when I'm choosing my offset distance uh, is through. If I right click, notice my options, I'm going to pick through and what this means is if I click on an object that I want to offset, I can choose uh, a reference or a point on the screen that I would like the offset distance to be set to. So if I wanted to offset this line, for example, down uh, to the end point of this line, I can click there, or if I wanted this line to be offset to the end of this line, I can pick the through point to allow me to, to pick a reference. Now this is a uh, parallel offset. So if I click this line and I say I want it offset to the end point of this arc, you notice that it's in alignment with the end point of the arc, but it's still uh, in the same location parallel to the original line. We'll look at the behavior of circles and arcs using our offset command. I'm going to uh, start offset and I'm going to set the distance uh, for 0.5. Uh, here I have a circle. I'm going to click and choose that circle and go inside the circle and you'll notice it, it uh, creates another circle concentric to that one um, that has an offset distance of 0.5. If I go click on this circle and go to the outside it creates a larger circle again at a 0.5 distance. Here I have an arc I'm going to choose this arc and offset to the inside. You'll notice that this arc has been trimmed and it's trimmed concentric to the center point of the, of the first arc. If I choose this arc and go to the outside, you'll notice the arc is larger but it still remains concentric to that same center point. Let's look at the behavior of our offset command when we're working with objects that are polylines. You recall that when AutoCAD draws rectangles and polygons, they're created as polylines. So this rectangle, as you can see, is a polyline. So that means that instead of being line segments, it's all one continuous line. When I choose my offset command, um, I'm going to accept 0.5 as my offset and click on this rectangle which is a polyline and click inside you'll notice I get an exact offset of the total uh, polyline. Uh, when I click on the rectangle and click to the outside I get the same rectangle uh, exact with an offset distance of 0.5. Now any object that is drawn as a rectangle or a polygon originally starts out as a, as a polyline and 
if I want to offset, for example, one side or two sides of my rectangle, I have to explode this back into its individual line segments. before I do the offset. So now I'm going to choose offset, I'll choose this side, and now I'm offsetting just those individual line segments. Using offset with the erase option, I can copy a line parallel at an offset distance and erase the original object. I'm going to choose offset and before I choose the line or set the offset distance, I'm going to right click the mouse and choose the option for erase from the shortcut menu. Here I can indicate yes or no. I'm going to set it to yes. I'm going to set my offset distance to 1. And I can choose this line as an example. Go to this side and when I offset that, that's been offset 1 and the original object was erased. Uh, if I do this rectangle, to the inside. I've reduced the size of the rectangle by one as an offset and deleted the original object. If I want to offset an object multiple times at a specific distance, I can use the multiple option. I'm going to activate my offset command and I'm going to set the offset distance at 0.25 and then I'm going to select the object that I want to offset. Then I will right click on the screen. I'm going to choose multiple off of my shortcut menu. With multiple chosen, now I click on the side that I want offset. I get a line. I click again and each time I click on that side or click on the other side, I can create an offset of that original object. When using the offset command, I can control the properties of the object that's copied by using the layer option. Let's look at an example of where we would use that. Here I have a view of an object and this has two holes going through. Uh, the whole edge of the hole is half an inch from the outside edge. So I want to offset this outside line, but I want it to have the characteristics of a hidden line. So I'm going to choose my offset command and before I set the distance or choose the object, I'm going to look at my option of layer. And right now it's, it's copying onto the source layer. I want it to copy onto the current layer. And I'm going to end the command for a second so that we can look at what the current layer is. And the current layer is hidden lines. So now choose an offset. I'll set the offset for 0.5. I'm going to out offset these outside lines in and that represents one edge of the hole. End it. Bring back my offset command. And these are 0 .5, 0 0.25 holes. So I'll offset that again and end the command. Now remember that when you make that change it's going to stay. So I'm going to start offset again and notice that down here layer is set to current. If I want that to change I have to go back in, reset it back to source for use next time.